Hello there, Oscar Carmona from Healing Ground Certified Organic Nursery located in Santa Barbara, California, here to talk to you today about uh, propagation from cuttings. Propagation from cuttings is a fairly simple procedure to um, undertake and therefore I think it should be part of every home gardener's repertoire. It gives you the opportunity to uh, create more uh, harvestable plants, especially in the realm of, the, of your herb garden or section of your garden. Um, there are basically three things that you need to know uh, for successful um, propagating from cuttings. The first thing you need to know is that uh, you want to look for the tender uh, shoots, the, uh, the tender growth on, on the plant, and in this case we're talking again about herbs. Uh, the second thing, you want to provide some sort of um, biostimulating um, agent. Uh, in this case, we're going to use uh, kelp in, um, in a powdered form, which we will mix with our water. And um, the third thing is uh, temperature, proper temperature. Now, uh, well, we'll talk about that in just a second and, and why that is just important. But first of all, let's look at the uh, cuttings that we want uh, to take for um, our samples. Uh, here's a rosemary. And uh, as I said, we want to look for the young tender growth. Uh, as those are going to lend themselves greatly to um, uh, putting out root side uh, roots. Um, so if we look at this plant here, we can see that there are many of the tips have tender growth and we were looking to take about four to six inches from our um, plant and then good to go down to a node so that you leave some side shoots to take its place in the future. We have this this sec section here and then I'm going to um, take another cutting from a different type of herb and this is a thyme and again we're looking for the tender young growth and we want to take about four to six inches so here's a, uh, a nice sample and we're going to leave the uh, go cut to the side uh, shoots there and so we then have a nice four to six foot cutting that we will that will make a nice starter um, what you need to do at this point, and I'm going to demonstrate it with this rosemary, is to strip the, um, the branch of its of these leaves. In this case, these are leaves, but sometimes side shoots are also part of that. If you're having some difficulty uh, doing that, you don't want to rip, then you can, you can pinch these sections off. And the key, again, is you want to avoid ripping the bark part of the, of the limb. And we want to remove these. Firm yet gentle, you know, you, do, you want to make sure you get this off and then you're leaving, you're left with a tuft at the end and this will indicate when you start to get some growth there that you do have some root development. I'm going to stick this into my um, flat here where I've already propagated many cuttings. Four finger and thumb, as I always say, are your wonderfully uh, given tools so you use those to get that firmly placed in there. The second thing, as I said, is kelp in water for biostimulation of for root production because this is what we're trying to induce here is some nice healthy root production and that gives us the plant then cuttings um, successfully. I'm going to take this um, four pack uh, flat into my number one greenhouse where I will be uh, putting it on my heating table uh, keeping it at about 73 to 75 degrees. That's the proper temperature to um, also stimulate root production and it greatly adds to your ability to have success with pr production of, of uh, from cuttings. Um, you can get a uh, look on any seed catalogs, um, uh, also um, other nursery catalogs that uh, offer um, pads for sale or find some local in your house, maybe a um, water heater uh, or near a stove or somewhere where you have generating a little bit of ongoing heat and that would greatly enhance your success. This is Oscar Carmona wishing you much success and fruitful harvest from your garden and remember to feed the soil and let the garden and plants feed you.